if you follow the auction houses and are constantly looking at the new records that are set, there is a new record that was set in the world of Ruby, surpassing $30 million for one gemstone. For the first time in history, there is an African gemstone that surpassed the Burma Ruby. This particular deposit is in a different part of Mozambique, still in the Montepoez area, but away from the gem fields mine, which is now another concession called the Fura gem mine. So if you want to research the world record Ruby now, you can see it's called the Fura Ruby, F-U-R-A, Fura Ruby, and it just went to auction surpassing $30 million for the stone. Now, that particular area within Mozambique has a very high concentration of chromium. So it's very similar to what you'll see out of the Magok stone track. The thing is, is this particular locale was very undeveloped for many, many years. The Fura deposit, which is now being mined by the Fura group, is unearthing a lot of these stones. Through the years, for the last 20 years, I've been buying from this area. I mean, Fura only came in a few years ago. I've been buying there for 20 years. But I've always look for these stones that look identical to the Magok rubies or the Vietnamese rubies, the finest quality stones in the world, because I knew that with this concentration of chromium in the crystal structure, it is identical to the material you see in Burma. And I knew that this is the material that sells for well over a hundred thousand a carat anywhere, anywhere. And it looks identically the same, even under the microscope. The only differentiating factors are some internal inclusions that look different than the material that comes out of Burma. But the color, the you know elements within the crystal structure are identical. It's not over dark. If you look at a lot of Gemfields rubies, they're very nice. They're still pigeon blood, but they tend to be a little bit on the darker side because of the presence of iron within the crystal structure. This all chromium. So because of all chromium, we refer, I give it the distinction, the Jedi Ruby, because Jedi Ruby sparkles like a spinel. It is dispersive, it is alive, and it is rare. This stone, old school, back in the day, these stones are impossible to buy now. Since that stone went to auction several months ago, the price of this material has gone over six digits a carat. You are looking at a three carat, top gem quality, super red. I'm talking about the best red that Mother Nature produces. There is nothing better than this. This is the finest quality ruby that you will find. Now, it's based off my cost from 20 years ago, so please understand it can never be replaced again. You've also got a brand new design, Cap Florence, with 3.35 carats of deep flawless diamonds. Now, work out the mathematics. That's 22,500 for the mounting. How much do you value the three carat ruby? This stone is big bucks. We're looking at 100K a carat if you're trying to get it now. But if you want some of the finest quality ruby in the world, on the planet, you are literally looking at. This stone comes fully certified, unheated, pigeon blood red. It is the pinnacle of what ruby can be. It is open, it is vibrant, it is alive, and it sparkles like no tomorrow. And the fluorescence within the crystal structure, which is identical to the material that comes out of Burma, is here as well this is top gem it is some of the finest quality ruby that mother nature has ever produced and whoever gets this is going to be blown away